Martin Luther King had a dream. I have a vision, a vision for Ireland's future in Europe. Chairperson adjudicators, fellow speakers and friends, ladies and gentlemen, do you? My name is Limo Tiernig, and I will expand on our vision of Ireland's future in Europe. An Ireland where strong leaders are at the helm. An Ireland where a new type of enterprise investment, the smart economy, is implemented. And where our continued commitment to lifelong learning strengthens Ireland's role in Europe. If we are to have a good future in Europe, Ireland needs leaders who inspire, are confident, and have a clear vision of the future. Leaders who can convey the often complicated workings of the EU in everyday language to Joe Bloggs on the street. Because many would agree with Václav Havel when he stated, Europe speaks to my mind, not to my heart. We have a vision of Ireland building on the presence of Charlie McCreevy in the current Barroso Commission to develop leadership for the future. Killian has in introduced the benefits of an innovative approach to our future development. As Ted Levitt of Harvest Business School pointed out, innovation is the spark of all human change, improvement and progress. This spark has ignited the Irish innovative spirit with the government leading with a new concept in enterprise investment, the Smart Economy. The Smart Economy initiative, which was launched in December, was to encourage innovative enterprise growth. It is backed by a 500 million euro commitment and is placed to bring foreign investment both into Ireland and the EU. Our vision is for this Smart Economy initiative to make Ireland an innovative and commercial hub within Europe. As you know, Ireland traditionally was an economy based on small and medium sized enterprises, SMEs. With the loss of many global interests in Ireland of recent times, we look set to return to this space with the help of the Smart Economy Initiative. The EU has brought in new legislation to help support SMEs by reducing the level of reporting compliance SMEs need to complete. We have a vision of an Ireland built up to its economy in the areas of innovation, as Keenan has explored, and green energy, as Dermot will later discuss. Former point for now, La Dicasio. In the area of education, the Irish workforce is well positioned for recovery. We currently have a highly educated workforce. Lifelong learning, as supported by the European Social Fund, will ensure we adapt to our future social and economic needs. Our vision is for Ireland, and indeed for the whole EU, to have a quality access to lifelong learning programs. This would promote long time employment in a rapidly changing environment. As Nelson Mandela said in relation to the value of education, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. I am proud of our education and cultural heritage. Ireland has brought the world many great things besides St. Killing. Guinness. River dance and you too, but to name a few. Personally, I dream of a future where I watch my grandson wearing the green, playing centre back for Ireland in Ireland versus Germany in the 2060 hurling championship final. And our vision for Ireland's future in Europe, we are an innovative, inspiring nation, sharing leadership with our fellow European counterparts. As Wilma Rudolph once stated. The potential for greatness lives within each of us. Good day, Shivsan.